So I told you that I was wanting to show you my tea cabinet. So here it is. It's pretty small. Um, it's a little small selection. I am out of some things, but um, I'll go ahead and show you the things that I do have in here. So right here I have a couple boxes of the traditional medicinals, organic echinacea plus with elderberry. And you can get this just the the regular Echinacea Plus with no elderberry. But we notice that when you add the elderberry, it is much more effective. So, um, And you cannot buy, at least around here anyhow, you cannot buy the one with elderberry at Walmart or even at health food stores. I've not seen it. I have to order this from AzureStandard.com and I'll leave that link in the description box below. So I just have, you know, I just keep a couple boxes of this. And then <clears throat> I also try to keep a couple boxes of the traditional medicinals organic peppermint. So we just have that. And this is good for like if you have dry heaves or an upset stomach, things like that. Um, it really helps to soothe the stomach and it's supposed to aid in digestion and uh, help with, you know, um, a digestive upset. So we like this and I know I mentioned it before but the echinacea plus with the elderberry that's good for like any kind of infection you have if you have a flu uh, sinus infection um, you know if you're sick um, that's what this is for so we only use this if there's an infection or it's the cold's getting pretty bad and it could turn into an infection so it's not something we take on a regular basis <clears throat> the other one I have is Traditional Medicinals Organic Cold Care PM. But, um, just for a cold. <laughs> um, so that's just, you know, just for a cold, basically. Um, it's like a nighttime version. That's what the PM is for. But uh, anyhow, it's pretty good. And all of these that I've shown you so far taste good. Um, I will tell you, let me see if I have it first. Yeah, here it is. This one in the back from Traditional Medicinals, it's Breathe Easy for Respiratory Health. Uh, this one, everyone in my house cannot stand this taste. Um, it may work good. I don't know. We cannot get past the taste. It is horrible. It does not matter how much honey you add to it. It is just the grossest thing ever. We just, we can't get past it. Um, I believe it has licorice in it. And we do not like licorice. Yeah, the very first ingredient is licorice root. So, it's pretty strong licorice flavor. So if you like licorice, you might like it. But this one has licorice root, eucalyptus leaf, bitter fennel fruit, Bayan Pian Dry Aqueous Extract, and then it has a blend of peppermint, calendula, pleurisy, and ginger. But anyhow. <laughs> so, let me see. I think, yeah. Okay, so those are like our medicinal teas in this cabinet anyhow. And these are some that we just like the flavor of. You can buy this at Walmart. Bigelow, Orange, and Spice. And all of our teas we um, use honey with to sweeten it. We just do honey. Um, but you don't have to. These have flavor on their own. So this is orange and spice, and it tastes, I really like it. Um, it comes in these little foil pouches. And I guess I should have shown you all of these traditional medicinals, they all come in these little paper pouches. And they have a little um, tag on them, little tea bag tag that has a little quote or saying. It's pretty neat. Uh, okay. The next one that we like for flavor is Bigelow Lemon Ginger. This particular one has probiotics. Um, it's a different taste. I just bought it and I like it. It's different, but it's pretty good. You can taste the lemon and you can taste the ginger, but the ginger isn't too overpowering. 
And my husband really likes the Bigelow green tea with pomegranate. He just really likes that. And this one has a good flavor. Um, this is Celestial Teas Sleepy Time Green. It's green tea. It's decaf. And it's green tea with the herbs lemon and jasmine. And it's actually pretty good. Um, I didn't realize that I liked the jasmine scent or even the flavor, but it comes through in this tea. And Another box that we have is the, it's a big box of Celestial Peppermint. And it's such a big box because my oldest loves peppermint tea. And the Celestials, they come in this, like, um, waxy, wax paper type stuff. And the teas are these little pillow pouches. But my oldest really likes peppermint flavor. And then we have another big box of celestial chamomile tea. And chamomile is just supposed to be, you know, soothing and calming, relaxing, a quiet drink. Um, it doesn't have that effect on us, but it tastes okay. This, well, where's the front here? This is a Benner green tea, lemon and ginseng. And this actually comes from Aldi's. And my husband, he likes this one. And these, they come in a clear plastic bag. And here's another one from Aldi's. It's a Benner green tea, all natural. And it's just green tea. And my husband likes this as well. And again, it comes in the clear plastic bags. Sometimes my husband likes to um, take one of these and then one of another flavor and brew them, mix them together. Okay, this one is Ultra Slim Tea. It's flavored honey lemon. Um, I used this, I don't know, probably nearly nine years ago. Um, not this box, but another box like it. I had had a baby, and a few months, well, several months later, um, I still had some extra baby weight, so I was like, well, I doubt this will work, but we'll try it anyway. So I bought it, and it definitely worked. Um, it sent you to the bathroom, and it really cleans you out, and, um, you know, it actually helped me lose a few pounds. Um, it was great. So, um, several months ago, I bought I bought this again and I can't take it. It just it does not taste the same. It's gross. Um so I just haven't gotten rid of it. Then another one that I bought from Traditional Medicinals is this Everyday Detox. It promotes a healthy liver function. And I got this well for that, you know, to detox your system cuz it's good to do that. I can't stand the taste of this. Um it's just gross. But, uh, I mean, I would think I would like it because it has chicory root, dandelion root, um, but it also has licorice. Maybe it's just the licorice I just can't get past. <laughs> Anyhow, so, um, you know, so they make a detox one, but I personally don't like the taste of it. Then I have this bag up here, and if you watched my video where um, I had I done a video on things we do for natural remedies um, I had told you about my husband doing a liver and gallbladder cleanse and this was this is liver decongestant tea so this is something that um, that he was supposed to drink after doing that liver and, and gallbladder cleanse you know to help you know to help a uh, keep the liver and all that clean. It's just liver decongestant tea. We've never even opened the bag. Nope, we haven't even opened the bag yet. So, I don't know. We just didn't do it. Um, after he done that cleanse, he felt great. And so we just never done that. Okay, so in that video that I've done for our natural remedies, I, I had showed you some you know, like some raw teas for that that we use for medicine. 
And although they're not in that cabinet, I keep them somewhere else, I did bring them here on my counter so I could show them to you again real quick. Okay, so here they are. And once again, you know the marshmallow root. Um, this is marshmallow root tea. Um, we just take this and we'll just make it into a tea for whatever we need it for. Marshmallow has many uses. Um, we've had success with it, with like a urinary tract infection, bladder infection. Um, here's some slippery elm bark powder. That's good for like a uh, mucus type um, colds and stuff. And then some echinacea root. Echinacea is just in our in our life a must have. Um, that and elderberry, they're just great. <coughs> and then I also showed you the mullein leaf that we use for allergies and uh, things like that. Um, it's just it's just great. And I, I went over these in my video and I'll leave a link to that. And then some things that we have to put these raw ones in in order to make them into a tea. We have some of these little um, canvas tea bags and you can just put whatever you want in here, tie it up, you know, like that, and put it in your hot water and put a lid over it and just let it steep. So there's a couple little canvas tea bags. Then if we have a large amount, um, we can take, this is a mesh, stainless steel mesh tea ball and I got this from Azure as well but um, you know just put the, however much you need close it up you know and just sit it in your teacup or your pot and it has a little hook on it to hook on the side or if you're just doing a single serving you can do this it's the same principle it's just a single serving to sit in your cup you know start around just let it steep or we have a couple of these um, these little tea basket ball things too and they also have a hook on the end of them you just open them up put how much of the stuff you want in there close it up and you know of course you'd have your honey in there already too and just let it let it sit in there and steep so well I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions just ask and thank you for watching